Sure, Arizona State uh, is a, a big series for us just on the standpoint the past few weeks we feel we're playing uh, quite a bit better. We haven't got the results that we are quite looking for, but we've been in some great hockey games and feel um, that our guys are, are getting close to turning it into wins. Um, it was an exciting weekend against Penn State that we um, had two great crowds, uh, two great hockey games, and uh, um, them being an experienced uh, first place team found a way to win on Saturday. Uh, we being a young, energized team, found a way to win on Friday. But I think there were two great college hockey games and looking forward to playing another top 10 team this weekend in Arizona State and uh, and hopefully getting ready for a playoff run. Thanks, Coach. Questions? Todd? Um, this is your fourth year. That you're, you've been with these seniors the whole way that they've been here. What is that group? mean to you? I mean, it's a smaller group now than it was when it started, but um, what have they given you through through the years that is, has been important to you? I'm glad you brought up the seniors because this being senior weekend, um, you know, as you wind down your career uh, in college and as, as uh, um, the last few games, you know, are on the schedule and you start to think about how fast it went. Uh, you think about the experiences, and, and as a coach, to, to be this really be in the first class that I was with uh, these guys all four years through. Um, it's been a bumpy road from the standpoint. It hasn't been a perfect four years for them as far as how our program has, has gone, but um, those three in particular um, have been great contributors to our program in different ways. And I look uh, at Johan, a goaltender that has played, how many minutes has he played? I don't know the total number, but it's under a full game. So probably probably a total of 25 minutes in, of, of playing time in four years. And he's a tremendous teammate, a tremendous worker. Um, he's one of those guys that uh, uh, when it's all said and done, you'll give him a big hug and thank him for all his contributions to our program because of, of who he is as a kid, what he's brought to our program and representing us the right way. Then you go to Max Zimmer, who came in as a highly touted player that's had a rocky road of being in and out of the lineup, playing fourth line, third line, second line. Now he's on our first line. And he's stuck with it. He's persevered. Uh, he's dealt with some things uh, that have been very tough as a student athlete and came out of it uh, in great shape. So he's going to graduate. He's going to put himself in a position where he'll have a chance to play pro hockey now. Uh, he's have, having a great finish to his, his career here. Um, so. Um, a ton of respect for what he's had to deal with. And then Jack Berry, his freshman year as a walk-on, uh, almost led us to a Big Ten championship as a starting goaltender. Um, and he's been starter, backup, starter, backup, starter, backup, dealt with a bunch of different injuries. Um, but like uh, like Johan and like Max, they've been great teammates and great kids to coach. So, so it's a special class. It's one that I hope this weekend we can finish their home careers with a with a bang. I'm hoping Jack can get back in the lineup, and it's possible uh, that we'll get Johan in the game uh, on Saturday as well. On, on Johan, can you sense how much his teammates appreciate what he does? I mean, that you know he, he's not going to get a lot of playing time, but he's out there every day, takes a lot of shots, just does stuff behind the scenes that people, you know, when they show up here, don't see, but those guys do. What What's the, the respect level for him? Yeah, I think, you know, this when you say something like that and you bring that up, and I look back on my teammates from, from years ago, you remember the guys that you enjoyed playing with because they're great people and great teammates. You don't remember the saves or the goals or assists. You remember, did I like playing with that guy because he was a good teammate and understood what being a good teammate means? And I can guarantee you that every one of the kids that Johan has ever played with will think that of him and not, well, he only played a few games here or there. They'll think of what he meant to be in the locker room, to be uh, with him uh, you know, through the, through the tough times and being supportive and, and how he practiced like every single practice he was getting ready for the next game just in case he was in the lineup. And fortunately, you know, the last few years, we've had a few players like that. You know, Aiden Cavallini and, and Cullen Hurley are two that come to mind. Uh, but he's just like that from a standpoint. Just a tremendous kid. And, and uh, you know, like I said, hopefully we can get him in the game this weekend a little bit. Brian? What can you tell us about Arizona State, its style of play, uh, 
the roster that it has, what fans can expect to see? Well, they're fun. Um, I think they're a bigger team, a more experienced team that's going to try to to be physical. Um, I think they've they've uh, established themselves the past couple of years of being an elite team. They got into the tournament last year. Um, you know, I know the program pretty well because my son was there before it became a Division One team. He was on the club team, so I know the coach very well. I know what kind of coach he is. Uh, I know what he asks of his team. Um, so uh, I expect a hardworking team uh, that will will come in here. It won't be played like a non-conference or an exhibition game. This will be a game for us and for them that is very, very meaningful. And from our standpoint and for our league standpoint, this is important for us to have a good weekend. I mean, it's important pairwise for, for our conference to, to do well this weekend. It's important for his team to do well because, you know, they're they're trying to get in the tournament again. And, and it's big for us because, like I said, I think – we played better than than uh, uh, our record the past few weeks, and it's important that we we get in the win column and, and get ready for a, a run, which we expect to have in the playoffs. Okay. I was going to ask whether you know Big Ten coaches have you know Reached encouraged you to. I mean, help. because there are a couple of that whose tournament spots may be on the line depending on how Arizona State does, whether they are able to stay up in the pairwise enough. Uh, this is. Something that you you talked about before the season. It's important how important non-conference games are for the league. This is a, a way for you guys to have another important non-conference win. It is that's for, big for the league. It is. The other thing is we're we're starting to get close to a, a healthy lineup. You know, obviously Sean Doogie still will be out probably this weekend. Barry's potentially going to be able to play this weekend. But Turcotte and Ashan and Volicki just got back in our lineup last week. So we're you know, and you're getting closer and closer to playoffs. So so these games uh, are are significant from the standpoint we need to be you know focused on the little things that it's going to take to win in the playoffs uh, this weekend I think this is a good team for it because of how physical and how how they grind it grind it out so I think this will be a playoff type series and that's the way we'll approach it and play it but but our conference does need need us to play well this weekend because of what you just said Penn State, Arizona State, Ohio State to end the regular season is kind of a road for you to uh, to ramp up into the playoffs, isn't it? It, it? Have you seen, did you see from the first weekend of these last three the, the steps you want to get to be where you want to be uh, you know, m mentally, physically to, to play in the playoffs? You're going to face these kind of teams. I mean, I like their fight over the weekend. I know, again, a split isn't good enough for us at this point, but uh, the Friday game, we're playing a team that's trying to win the conference. They needed those games for a lot, for a different reason than we did, but they needed those games. Uh, you know, after listening to their coaches after the games, they thought that was maybe one of the best weekends that they've had on how they played. Um, and, you know, both games were great hockey games. We were close on Saturday. You know, their goalie was, was pretty big on Saturday's victory. I thought, you know, our fight right to the last second was outstanding. So there are lots of good things to be excited about. And, and you know, going in this weekend, it's the same challenge, a different team. And then going into Ohio State, same challenge, different team. But they're all teams that are, are tournament teams, which is good for us to see, you know, if we're going to make a run in the playoffs, these are teams you're going to have to beat then. So, so this is a good test for us heading into the playoffs. Okay. Looking forward to reunion weekend. And how many alums are coming back? It's a, I don't know the total number, but I think we're close to 100 uh, alums will be back. So we're uh, excited for sure to get uh, uh, lots of – I know Mark Johnson's on the road, so we don't have him, which would have been exciting to have him back in the, for the weekend. But, no, we got, a, we got a really good turnout coming in. 